You know, many people in my life have told me that I'm overdramatic. I've been labelled as hyperbolic before, but I stand by today's video title. This is, in my opinion, the greatest collectible Megas ever made. I can't think of anything more authentic. Sitting down with the designers of this product, going through it piece by piece, seeing the prototypes and seeing just how crazy enthusiastic all of the people working on this product were from the packaging to the manual to the actual build and all the juicy easter eggs inside i can quite confidently say that this is the greatest collectible i've ever seen from mega and that is not even taking into consideration the fact that halo 3 was my first ever game uh, well, my first ever Xbox game, I got a copy of Halo 3 from my auntie before I even had an Xbox 360, and I bought an Xbox 360 because I had a random copy of this sci-fi shooter that looked pretty cool, and now I've been making YouTube videos about it for 11 years, and my auntie does take some credit for that. I mean, Halo 3 is everything to me. It's everything. Like, it literally just like it jump started my like uh, like my enthusiasm for video games and content creation and just so much stuff and i owe so much to halo 3 so to see this in what looks like basically the original packaging for the xbox 360 and with so many beautiful details i don't know i'm blown away by it so without further ado let's check in with one of the designers for a sneak peek of this set hi i'm mark Henry. i'm a designer at mega i'm really excited to show you the buildable xbox 360. What was really interesting about the design process is that the Xbox 360 has a really unique shape. When we designed this uh, building set, it was really important to us that the aesthetic was spot on. The console and the controller needed to be as close as the original as possible. So obviously, like the rest of the set, the controller is fully buildable. It comes with a stand. It includes two movable joysticks. The battery tab at the rear is removable. The guide button in the middle lights up when you click on it. Fun fact, the three-quarter scale of the set was dictated by the piece we used for the body. So in addition to the console and the controller, we wanted to add a game with the set. And to me, it was obvious that Halo 3 was the game to represent the 360 era. We really wanted to make the case as real as possible, so we opted for a fully printed front and back. And we also included the disc inside. So moving on to the main feature, the console. Of course, the power button lights up when you click on it. It was really important for us also to capture the curves of the model, both on each side, front and back. At the back, we can see we have all the ports that the console has. The hard drive is removable, and you can even display it on its side like the real console. But that's not all, because when you remove the hard drive, you gain access to a little lever that pops up this side panel and show off the detailed interior of the console. We have the Xbox Sphere that lights up when you click on it. But the main feature of this, uh, this set is that you can take the disc and put it in its tray and it lights up the hidden Cortana inside. There's a few easter egg hidden sets. One of them is the Cortana chip that goes inside of Master Chief Helmet. And for the other one, well, I'll let you discover them for yourself. The Xbox 360 is really close to me because it brings back a lot of memory of me and my friend playing Halo 3 in my parents' basement. And when I built uh, this set, it really brings back all those memories. When I designed this set, it was really important to create a challenging building experience, but also to recapture memory to all the fans so they can showcase a piece of nostalgia on their shelf. It's just a celebration, honestly. Also, this thing sold out literally, like almost immediately. I, I didn't even hear about it until it was sold out, like most people. I mean, I've seen this thing for the last couple of months. I've been sitting on this secret and I've been desperate to tell people. You know how many times I'm on an Xbox chat and I just wanna blurt out the fact that I know this information, but I'm, I'm a good guy, I'm a good, I signed some ND Hayes, you know? And yes, this is getting an international release. First of all, on October 8th, we are getting this in Target store in America and then in spring of next year we're getting it worldwide 
I would probably imagine it's going to get an Amazon.co.uk release. And let me know down below, just out of interest, what country are you in that isn't America, that isn't the UK, and what stores usually do stock at least like some level of Mega, like Mega Pokemon? I'd be interested to know. So, the Mega Showcase Microsoft Xbox 360 Collector Building Set, 1,342 pieces. This thing has one one-star review, <laughs> which it's like, bro, you don't even have it yet. But it's from, uh, what, what did it say? It was hilarious. Um, Halo No. Like, literally the account's called Halo No, so I don't know whether they created it just to leave this comment. I'm not sure. Nostalgia Trip Gone Bad. One out of five for quality, one out of five for value. Title, meh. That's just genius, man. Like, you haven't even got the product in hand. Um, also, there are so many people asking me if this is playable. No, it's not a playable Xbox 360. It's a scaled down version. But don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be modding the heck out of this. Once I get one in store, obviously I'm gonna do a travel block so where we hunt to a target and get one. Mega are providing me with a review copy, but I'm gonna be definitely going to some target stores and finding them myself. Myself? Myself being me and Strandy, and probably Kel. And we'll definitely be going to some Target stores. I'm going to America next week, and I cannot wait to share with you what I'm doing there. So much crazy stuff, and uh, HCS, the Halo Championship Series, is going to be amazing. But yeah, once I get hold of one of these in England, I'm going to modify it. I'm going to get some kind of Raspberry Pi, get a computer chip in it, and then play Halo 3 in it. Mark my words, I will make it happen. Inspired by the most influential gaming console of all time, this collector building set celebrates the legacy of the Xbox 360. Jump back in with a fully buildable light-up console and controller. The console opens to reveal a disk drive and other Easter eggs. Place the Halo 3 themed disk inside to activate the motherboard. Chef's kiss, man. Chef's kiss. Let's go. Also, it had to be Halo 3. Like, it just had to be Halo 3. Highlights include a buildable Xbox 360 replica model, which is a 3 in 4 scale, authentically designed with accurate detail. It includes console and controller with working lights, plus hard drive, game disc, and case. Features a removable hard drive and side shell panels to reveal an interactive interior. Bricks and pieces combined with all mega building sets. So, um, first of all, there is another Easter egg that is not shown in this video and not shown in any of the product descriptions and I'm really excited for you guys to find and it. And second of all, Mega just has ju an insane attention to detail. Like, you didn't just replicate the Xbox 360, you included a Cortana chip with a little Cortana inside and when you put the Halo 3 disc in, it lights up and you have this insane disc case that is printed pieces, two single printed pieces, but you still build the case. And if you look on the back, you can see authentic replications of the Halo 3 artwork from the box, but in mega form. It's just beautiful. Some of the nights that I played on Halo 3 late with my friends or my brother had some of the best memories I have, and especially the legendary Warthog run in Ghosts. It's just amazing. I absolutely adore Halo 3. Absolutely outstanding. I saw a lot of comments asking if there's a red ring of death. I've not seen any any evidence of that yet? I don't know, but I've not seen that. The attention to detail is wild, and Mega have started to lean into a couple of different things, right? They're starting to lean into lights in their sets. You can get a light in the new Witcher, Gerald's Hut. The real thing... Okay. You, you good? Anyway, the second thing that they're really leaning into is the adult builder side of the brand, right? The Mega Showcase is a unification of all the adult collectibles in Mega's portfolio. Maybe the first time ever, this is exclusively going to be sold in Target at the video game collectibles aisle, like right next to the actual consoles, which is amazing. I really hope that at least one Karen buys this and thinks it's an actual Xbox for her son. And then he gets home and he says, mother, this is even better. This is mega. I feel like there is a lot of modern society that milks nostalgia. Like sometimes I feel like it, it's just there for the sake of knowing that it'll sell well because you're nostalgic for something. But this is like an iconic product in what looks like basically its original box, and it's a faithful recreation that you can have on your display. For me, this is not just about nostalgia. This is about what is clearly a very high quality product about but like the target listing said, one of the most, if not the most iconic and influential consoles of all time. Hard to put into words, honestly. The momentum. The chat around the playground, and Betty, you better not be eating my falcon sweep there. She's getting a little...
Little cautiously into my Falcon sweep. That sold out within a few hours on Mattel Creations, Betty. We don't even know if we're getting a new drop. You better be careful You're with that. You're knocking over Noble Team. Dude, rip Noble Team. This is Reach 2. I toyed with the f with whether or not I wanted to say it was the greatest mega collectible ever, but the more I look at it, and now I can see it in its fully realized form that's not a prototype, I just genuinely think it is. Uh, so let me know what you think down below. And what do you think's next? Like, clearly Mega um, have been doing well leaning into the adult collector side of things, and that side of things is only good news for Halo fans. Mega is, is struggling to, like, sell Halo in Target and Walmart right now, right? Like, it's mostly Pokemon. That's still good news because Mega still has a firm anchoring in Target and Walmart with Pokemon. The same goes for Pokemon being distributed across the entire world. Like, Mega Pokemon is all over the UK. So, like, that's good for supply chain. The buildable energy sword and the buildable needler, the constructible forerunner ring, the battle for the Ark Master Chief. Like, there's been a lot of more adult collectibles, and I think they've sold really well. I mean, the Target and the... Oh my gosh. She has George. George, you made it out of slip space just to get snatched. Can't explain yeah. to a dog the importance of a mega collectible. If only animals could understand. I'm just filled with nostalgia. I can't wait to get this thing in my hand. The more mega leans into the adult collectible side of things and the more it sells well, that's going to be good for Halo fans, right? The Falcon Sweep sold out within three hours, and that's good news. It's not good news for who couldn't get it, but it's good news for the future of adult collectibles having, like, a solid place in Mega's catalog. And if this sold out, it's one of the fastest selling out drops ever, what's next? An original Xbox with a Duke controller and a copy of CE. That's what we need next, absolutely. So, shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. And also, Good news, everybody. I filmed a brand new Oni bridge diorama today. I thought it would take a few hours. It took the entire day uh, because my prod, my like my video production is just going up and up and up, which is really exciting. So the banished are invading New Mombasa coming soon. Signing off. See you next time, folks.